and cheers. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Welcome to another episode of Do Go On. My name is Dave Warnicky, and here I am with Jess Perkins and Matt Stewart. Here I am. Here I am yeah, as well. Yeah, Lord. Oh. Oh. What, are you, what are you singing for? <laughs> Weird. I think that might be the sixth or seventh time that that song has somehow come well, up. Well, here comes show. eight. <laughs> is it I, Lord? Great to be here on the, uh, the Lord Hour. Oh, just a man. Whoever wrote that song, a lot of self doubt. Is it? Yeah, it is oh, you. Lord? I mean, yes, it's you. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Is that Lord? Yeah. <laughs> no, Talk, no. Talking like that. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not in a blasphemic mood. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. I'll leave that to you, you <laughs> heathen child. <laughs> I'll be the heathen here. <laughs> I'll fill this one. <laughs> be easel, Bob. <laughs> That's not how you say it, is it, Dave? How do you say it? Satan. <laughs> Why did I go with Satan? Yeah, it seems easier. Mm. Yeah, hindsight, Satan though. always seems easier. <laughs> but yeah. n- fear the Dark Lord. Yes. Don't always walk the easy path, Jess. No, I always go the easy way. <laughs> path I'm of a least big fan resistance. of paying for convenience. Yeah. Um, and I don't like doing things mm. for myself. Unless it's paying. I love to pay. For mm. convenience. Oh, I love it. Spoken like a true Satanist. <laughs> Number one thing I spend my money on, convenience. Yeah. And comfort. Oh, gosh, yes. Classic devil worshipper. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more comfortable than Satan's throne. Yeah. I'll <laughs> Ooh, get cushions. 666 packets of satin sheets, please. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Satan sheets. <laughs> <laughs> you hate yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I'd realised why I th- was my brain was thinking of satin was because I'm not very imaginative, <laughs> and a, nim- a similar word. Was just You're probably kind of going for silk sheets, really, rather than yeah, silk satin is what anyway. I probably meant. Yeah, oh, satin. What are you sleeping in? Yeah. Satin rules. Velvet sheets for me, thanks. <laughs> thick, Crushed velvet. Thick velvet curtains <laughs> wrap me up. I was born on the stage. Leather sheets for me. <laughs> water sheets for me. Ooh. Cold water. <laughs> I sleep in a bath. Oh, that's a little call forward to later on here. So anyway. Um... <laughs> well, before you call forward, shall we just remind people that our Howler show, our Bon Voyage Melbourne show before we head over to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming up this Saturday. <laughs> this Saturday afternoon. A couple of tickets left, we believe. Possibly. Maybe. Try your luck, kid. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You know, give it a try. Give it a try. You can kid. To, we don't care. Kid. kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go to dogoonpod.com for those tickets. And the other thing really quickly to mention is I launched my brand new show on the Planet Broadcasting Network, the nerdiest show of them all, Book Cheat. I don't know if that's true. There's no way that's the nerd. On, even on the Planet Broadcasting <laughs> Network, you are nowhere near the nerdiest. If you're getting called a nerd on the Planet Broadcasting Network, which also includes the podcast Do Go On, a podcast which is about a different nerd learning, <laughs> uh, they've also got there's comic book podcasts. Yeah. Oh, okay. One's hosted by a goat, for God's sake. I don't think. I think you're safe. I think you're actually probably one of the coolest podcasts on the network. All right. Well, I just released the coolest <laughs> podcast on the network, yeah. Book Sheet. All about uh, classic books, where I've read it, so you don't have to. I'll tell you all about it. And our two episodes are up right now. The Picture of Dorian Gray with uh, Mr. Sunday Movies and Nick Mason, speaking of the goat, (laughs) are from the Weekly Planet. And uh, Matt Stewart and Joel Dusha from Sans Pants Radio were on the Othello episode. Thanks to everyone that's been jumping in and giving this new thing a crack. Appreciate that. When I say that a goat hosts a podcast on the network, I was talking about me, greatest of all time. Okay, now. Who are you talking about? Jess. Satan. <laughs> Satan remember? of all time. Were you so t- <laughs> were you in the room when Ben Russell was screaming like a goat just the other day? Was I in the room? <laughs> yeah, because we were all here. Oh. No, was, yeah, that vaguely rings a bell. Yeah. Oh, it vaguely rings a bell that behind you while you were sitting at your computer trying to do work, Ben Russell was going, ah! It's oh, very yeah, funny. that does ring a bell. But, yeah. I, geez, I focus hard. You do. I was probably working on this report. I just zoned out before because I was daydreaming about what I'm going to eat on the plane on our way to the UK. 
I was like, oh, plain food. Oh, I got really excited. I reckon you're maybe the only person ever who's been excited about <laughs> plain food. Oh, cannot wait for that horrible scrambled egg to be presented Ooh. for me. Mm, I love those bap rolls with a bit of, bit yeah, of butter. Yeah, butter. And Double then bap. I'm going to watch a movie and I'm going to have a little nap, go put a little eye mask. Oh, man, so excited. I'm going to watch a movie uh, as well. Can we watch the same movie and can we press play at the same time? Please, Matt, please. Of course. Yes. Dave, do you want to join or are you too cool for us now? Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to be watching something cool, like <laughs> Cars 2 or something. So. Moana. Yeah. I like art films. I'm a, I'm the coolest member of the Planet Broadcasting <laughs> Network. Do I have to no, remind we didn't, you? No, we didn't say that. We said your podcast no, no. was yeah. cool, not yeah. you Certainly as a person. Not, not cool you. by association. Definitely not you. With mm. your own podcast. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Podcasting, I mean, in itself is inherently cool. Very cool. The <laughs> coolest of the cool do pods. Uh, anyway, Matt, why don't you do your cool topic right now? Well, I will, because this is Blockbuster Topher Grace. Maguire month. <laughs> Show me the money. Wait. Toby oh, Maguire. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I went Jerry Maguire. Yeah, no, we could tell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see how yours makes any more sense than mine. but No, I- it doesn't. But, like, we knew where you went because of the quote. So All right, well, I'm let really, me just I'm saying say to kudos you, on your joke. Uh, can I just say to you, I feel the need, the need for speed. Hmm? Okay, you can Jerry f- Maguire again, <laughs> great film. I don't. Well, how does Jerry Maguire fit into Block Topher Grace? Matt, if you don't get it, you're not cool like yeah, I am. Matt, just okay. move on. Okay, no, that's true. Your but point is that it's blockbuster. Block both Tover block that block. Jerry Maguire blockbuster movie. I get it now. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Blockbuster Month. We're doing our most requested kinds of topics and then also underneath that more polling. Bloody hell, we love to poll. We <laughs> live to poll. Live to poll. Poll to live. Um, <laughs> last week we did the third most popular kind of topic, which was, Dave? Wacky or quirky events from history. And now we're up to the second most popular kind of topic, topic, oh. topic, topic. Silver medalist. Oh. And it is. Second comes right after first. Serial killers. <gasps> really? I would have thought that that would be number one. I was expecting number one as well, but no. And it didn't actually beat number three by all that much. It was pretty close. Oh. Number four, not too far away. I don't know if we, do we say what number four was? I don't think you did, but why not reveal it? Cryptids. Ah, oh, people love which cryptids. I, I love cryptids as well. Me too. I for so long I said cryptoid, and thanks for people for not telling me I was. Is wrong. it? Well, are you, are you wrong? Are you wrong? I don't know. Anyway, we're doing serial killers now. <laughs> cryptoid nerd over there, <laughs> back, back where he belongs. <laughs> Got it. Thank, I, I need to be put back in my place. Thank you. I was getting too arrogant when I was reading Shakespeare. And the way we get onto topic is with a question, and this week's question for block. Buster Topher Grace Maguire, show me the money. Show me the question. <laughs> Week two. The question is, <laughs> which, I say which like Dave does now. It's taken three years, but I think I say which like that. Which, you really, ch- anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're one of my top ten influences. Oh, which- am I in there? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yes, yeah, you're sorry, right. stupid question. Come right. on. I mean, next you'll be asking if you're charming again. Come on. I didn't ask that. I asked if I was charismatic. Sorry. Charming, we know is true. <laughs> charismatic, I learnt the hard way. Incorrect. Charisma and charm, opposites. <laughs> Very different things. <laughs> the question this week is, which infamous <laughs> serial killer has been called the most prolific female murderer and the most prolific murderer of w- the Western world? By the Guinness Book of World Records. And Dave, you're a Guinness Book of World Records expert. Oh, yes, I am. Ask me any record, I'll tell you what it is. Ask this me, one. Ask me. All right. Look, look, let me warm up, please. Ah, oh, okay. Longest fingernails. Uh, seven feet four. You made that up. Yeah, it belongs to an um belongs belonged to a man. Had them recently shaven off. Oh, yuck. I would, why did I ask shaven that? Shaven off. Yuck. Yeah, I don't like that either. I had to use like a some Stop sort of talking. A powered no, tool yuck. to get them off. Stop it. His hand was permanently Stop it right disabled. now. Stop it right now. Uh, what about this one, Dave? Uh, seven foot four. <laughs> um, it's like Queen, shaved off. like Queen Victoria or someone like that? What? No. Do you serial think of what? her as a serial killer? Well, I don't know. Most prolific maybe. Killed lots of people. Right. No, I'm going to know sorry, it when was, you sorry, say Sorry, not it. Queen Victoria. Sorry. Was, like I was thinking of uh, one of the older queens, like Queen Elizabeth. <sighs> it is Anne Elizabeth. Oh. 
Oh, Elizabeth. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Do you reckon here. we would have heard of this lady? I think so, maybe. I think a lot, definitely a famous one, but not. Anyway. I'll... Matt, you and I can guess at the same time. All right. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Bathory. Bathory. Bathory? Yeah, sure, if that's how it's said. No, sorry, I, I misheard because you were both speaking at the you same time. You say it with me, Dave. Elizabeth the Bathory. First. Oh, fuck, don't make me go out it alone. <laughs> I really want it every time. How I'm... is it spelt? It's that. It's the oh. accent that's pr- that gives me trouble. But I think it's something like Bathory. Well, let's just say Bathory. Bathory. A.K.A. The Blood Countess. <gasps> oh. That is awesome. That is sick. A- A.K.A. A- Countess Dracula. Oh, this sounds gross. <gasps> yes. Any relation to Vlad Dracul the Third? Okay, Vlad the Impaler. No, but um, their their mythos has sort of been merged a bit. All right. Potentially. Their, nice. their mythos. Their mythos. <laughs> uh, this was suggested by Sandy Ty, Jacob, Chris Waters, and Cinderella Cenobite. Oh, Cinderella, beautiful name, and such a horrible, horrible topic. Cinderella. Oh, yeah. the- <laughs> no. yeah, Cinderella. somebody suggested Cinderella. And you're like, Horrific. Ooh, yuck. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, no good. Poisonous apples. Ooh, no. Glass shoes. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This is such a. This is such a, a brutal topic. Well. It but I'm excited. Be, it could be a really nice serial killer. Yeah, she would just could gave a lot of blood. Really humane. Yeah, she saved a lot of lives. Oh, blood drinker, maybe. Oh, yuck. Elizabeth Bathory was born on August the 7th, 1560 in Nyerbatur, Hungary. So probably no chance of her listening to this podcast, which is great. Well, I don't know. It depends how much blood she drank. Oh, good call. How she's, much of a vampire she's still she is. going. Or unicorn blood. So Hungarian. So that's why then it's got an accent that you're not sure of. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I don't, I don't know the Hungarian accent. I've been to Hungary. Great place. Do you go to an Irish pub there? Probably. No, I wouldn't have. I went to some cool uh, bars, though. Great bar <laughs> scene in Budapest. Wow. Budapest, the town, three towns coming together to make one town. Bud, A and Pest? Uh, Buda, Pest, and O Buda, I think. Well, it doesn't matter. Probably, I mean, it does to them, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, she was born into nobility, a prominent Protestant family, and grew up in a castle. La di da. They were big players in the Kingdom of Hungary, which covered modern day Hungary. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Whoa, I mean, whoa, whoa. Wind that back. I'm not a geography expert like <laughs> Jess, but that does not add up. Dave, let me explain. Please. Oh, I don't want to explain. I don't know. <laughs> also, Romania and Slovakia. Which <laughs> Romania is where Vlad the Impaler That's from. right. Uh, Transylvania is part of this. Uh, her powerful family controlled Transylvania. <gasps> And included kings, princes, cardinals, knights, and judges. Her uncle Stephen was the king of Poland. So they were. <laughs> she just, just, a, just called him Uncle Steve. That's <laughs> just Uncle Steve, the king of Poland. No Whatever. big deal. I go to his beach house on the weekends. He's sometime. drunk every Christmas. He does this every time. Whatever. Oh, not Stephen. Uncle Steve. <laughs> Steve up. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, Bathory's family also included a bunch of oddballs. <laughs> like every family. You mean Uncle Steve isn't odd enough? <laughs> I should say that this is because it's such it's quite an old topic and there are how much of where the myth begins and where reality ends and that sort of stuff is hard to know. So um, there, there's a lot of people who argue about this. So stories. some people say Steve wasn't even her uncle. Some say his name was Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Greggy Gregson. And, and he was just a butcher down the road. <laughs> But also the king of Poland. No one, everyone agrees on that. <laughs> ah, okay, that's good then. Unanimous on that. Bathory's family also included a bunch of oddballs, and they passed on their knowledge to her. According to one source, an uncle taught her Satanism, <laughs> and an aunt taught her about sadomasochism. She also learnt Latin, Greek, and German. <laughs> <laughs> a rounded education. That was from the boring aunt. Yeah. So she 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 could speak uh, four languages. Um, fluently, I believe. When she was around 10 or 11 or 12, honestly, three different sources said each of those ages. 10 to 12. 10 to 12, she was engaged to Count Ferenc Nadsdusty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call this guy the Count. Count. <laughs> Count. Nad- Count. Nadadsdi. It just feels like that's, you don't make a name like that, Nadadsdi. No. There's something not quite working in my mouth there. Um, and he was from another prominent Hungarian family. 
And in 1575, they married when she was around 15 and he was around 19. Apparently, over 4,000 people attended the wedding. Whoa. Which is biggish. Bridezilla. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just want to keep it small, <laughs> intimate. Imagine not getting humble. an invite. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, you're the four thousand and first most sorry close family member. Oh, sorry. We're just trying to get you as small. Sorry, no plus ones. <laughs> sorry, we can't have eight thousand people. <laughs> sorry. You know, you know, when you're at the wedding towards the end of the night, and you, if it's you're not super close, and you'll have a real small chat to yeah. the bride and groom towards the end. They're like, we're just making the rounds. Yeah, imagine that. Oh, God. We'd have to start the goodbye rounds at the start of the wedding, probably before the wedding. Thanks so much for coming out. Yeah. Really appreciate the uh, dipping into the the honeymoon fountain or whatever. Oh, yeah, the wishing well would be overflowing. (laughs) The honeymoon fountain. Is that what they do? A wishing well. Honeymoon fountain. Oh, I forget what you bloody lardy da types do. (laughs) Matt. You give everything a fancy name. I call them the money pit. (laughs) (laughs) Throw it in the money pit. (laughs) <laughs> Which is next to the spitting pit. Oh, that was, more the sl- that was for the <laughs> slurping. Uh, as a wedding present, Nedadzdi gave his new wife the castle Kachich. <laughs> Kachich. And he gives the woman who's got everything. <laughs> Another castle. <laughs> Another Kachich. Uh, the castle was in modern day Slovakia and it remains. Oh, that's fun. I wrote this late. <laughs> This line I wrote very late last night, but it's good. Let me have another change. Crack at it. Yeah. The castle was in modern day Slovakia and its remains remain there. (laughs) That is fun. (laughs) Is it still Slovakia as well? It is still. (laughs) Just that ruin, Slovakia. (laughs) Well, yeah, so that it was in Hungary, but now Slovakia. Um, And this became their main residence. Over the following decades, the couple had children. This is another thing that seems there's different sources saying different things, but it seems like probably four. I read different names. Maybe they were different translations in English or whatever, but it seems strange how much the um, even things like that, like a a noble woman who's quite powerful, you'd Mm. think it'd be clear how many kids she had. There was one story that she had a kid when she was very young, like a teenager, um, to a peasant boy and they gave the kid away to someone and but you know who knows if that's true or not wow and if it matters it doesn't uh in these <laughs> years the christian hungary was a constant uh, there was a christian country <laughs> not this hungry is, I'm, christians i'm not in- introducing a new character called the christian hungary <laughs> uh they were at constant war with the ottoman empire from the south and the count was a handy military man, Trisdazdi or <laughs> Nadazdi. Can you try and say Nadazdi? Why am I struggling with that so much? I've read it so many when times this week. I can't see it written down from here. N A D A S D Y. Nadazdi. Nadazdi. Yeah, you made that Nad-as-D. sound really. Nadazdi. Nadazdi. Or Nadazdi. I think it's the D. it's the second D that makes it my my mouth trip out. Uh, Just call him the Count. I was enjoying the Count. The count. Right. Yeah, Count's good. So the Count was a handy military man and he would spend up to 10 months of the year away from home uh, fighting. In 1578, he became chief commander of the Hungarian army, heading out on a military campaign against the Ottoman Empire. So the Ottoman Empire, Dave, you would know, Jess, you would know, there were a big Footstools. Islamic, Islamic. Uh, yeah. empire and uh, apparently it was... It was on, like they they were a huge, powerful empire. Hungary was quite a relatively powerful one as well, and they were sort of on the front step of the Christian Europe's fight against, which I didn't know any of that till reading about this. Um, uh, so as he was away often, this left Bathory in charge of their estates and, and also of governing of the local populace. So she was she was very important, very powerful. She was actually from probably a more prominent family than her husband, and she even uh, made him take her surname, I believe. Yes, I bitch, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were actually uh, combined. They were their families um, were wealthier than the royal family, the king of Hungary. So they they were a richer family than oh, the king. I own you, king. Yeah, which is interesting. Apparently, Matthias, the king of Hungary. Uh, often borrowed money from them as well, and he he built up a fair debt to um, Nadasdi right. and Bathory. Um, Liz and the Count. Liz and the Count. The uh, Count and uh, Liz. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
One. They they were able to loan this money pretty easily because they were loaded. And apart from the wealth they were born into, the count would also come back from his military campaigns with pockets full of riches from you know the vanquished and the his his enemies. He'd come back with jewels and cash. So he, a lot of a lot of pillaging. Yeah. Yeah, because he needed it, obviously. Yeah. Hey, I'm the richest guy in my country. I want your money. They're dead. I'm taking it back, chucking it on the pile. So, <laughs> can't take it with you. I may as well take it with me. <laughs> I'll put it anyway, you are dead. <laughs> Why am I talking to you? <laughs> Gotta go. It has been a long day. <laughs> I am pooped. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> I'm still talking. <laughs> what am I like? Oh, like ooh, pocket watch. <laughs> Uh, Bathory would divide her time moving around her multiple castle estates. And at each of these castles, they'd have uh, a staff of servants, and many of these were made up of peasants from the local villages. Um, And it is with these peasant servants that Bathory's reputation and reputation (laughs) as one of the cruelest killers of all time, this is where it comes from. According to history.com, to please Bathory, the Count reportedly built a torture chamber to her specifications and that Bathory's torture included jamming pins and needles under the fingernails of her servant girls Oof. and tying them down, smearing them with honey and leaving them to be attacked by bees and ants. It's a quote from history.com. <laughs> Whoa! Unleash the ants! <laughs> and you're standing there going, oh, this is going to take a long time. The ants, why have they put the box of ants so far away? <laughs> I mean, it's an ant farm. It's a contained, this is, they've, what, they've got to break out of their farm? Yeah, they have to work out how to get out of the farm. To get to me. I've left them small ant screwdrivers and hammers. <laughs> Once. And instructions on how to dismantle <laughs> the farm. In a matter of generations of ants, <laughs> they will learn the skills required, pass them down to their children. They'll get it. <laughs> Through trial and error. This Many po- lives will be lost in the ant community. <laughs> this poor girl covered in honey is just like licking her yeah. honey off herself to survive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most of them stuffed to death. <laughs> Waiting for ants. Honey's not. It's not a round. It's not enough. It's not enough. What do you mind saying? What's the thing that you have? All your food together? What does that make? If I said not a round, how would you finish Balance? that? Not a balanced diet. There we go. <laughs> diet is the word I could not <laughs> think oh, of. Oh, boy. You are tired. Don't believe in it. Don't believe, Don't in, believe diet. in diet. Don't believe in it. Everything in moderation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the Count is also believed to have participated in the tortures, apparently, but history.com also suggests that he, quote, may have also restrained her impulses. So, By building her a torture chamber. <laughs> so he's aware of it and builds her a torture chamber. Guys, Controversial opinion, husband <laughs> of the year. <laughs> I'm not into it. I'm not into it personally. I, I think but everyone. I love sh- the support. I, sh- I think everyone should have, you know, an outlet. I just yeah, and that and she it would have been hard to be vulnerable in the space and admit that that was your outlet. Yeah. So she was like, oh, "This is a bit embarrassing," but we've been married since I was 15. <laughs> Engaged I, since I was 10. I feel like 11 you, or 12. I really just want to torture some people, but I just don't have the space to do it. I'm getting all ang- anxious and antsy. That's why we keep fighting. It's because I don't have an outlet. And he was like, I hear you. I'm listening and I understand. It sounds like you misheard her say antsy and just got a lot of ants. Like, okay, you want some ants? We're good ants. That's cool. That's great. You thinking, honey? You thinking, honey, I'm one of the servants' girls? We can do that. We can do that. That's fine. I love that. I love love is what I'm saying. I love love. Mm. Oh, my God. You love love? I love love. We have so much in common. (laughs) You've changed a lot since this show started. Yeah, I used to hate love. Yeah. Didn't I? You used to hate people torturing innocent peasants, but now you're on board. I'm not on board with that side of things. I'm on board with the supportive part. Don't twist her words. I was saying I appreciated him listening to her, not judging her. This is Putting positivity out into the universe, and th- and this is what you're throwing back at her? Excuse me? Thank you, Matt. Dave, I'll accept your apology in writing within the next three business days. Thank you. Well, no, thanks, because I hate love. You hate love. Yeah, and I love hate, which is very hard for me to deal with. Okay, well, Because I, think- I hate everything about love. That's even a real loving, paradox. Even it? loving hate. <laughs> yeah, wow. I hate that I love hate. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Oh, Dave's putting 
<laughs> nails under his nails. <laughs> Smother me with honey. <laughs> Not again, Dave. <laughs> you it asked us once before <laughs> and you said that was for the ants. I said no question. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the, the a Discovery Channel did a, um, a series 10 or so years back about worst killers of all time and they did a, an episode on The Countess. And I, so I watched this on YouTube and it was not very good, admittedly. Like not well made or like upsetting because was she's awful? No, it was just, I just didn't, I don't know, I didn't buy it. They, <laughs> there was this one guy, Professor Raymond McNally, who was a, is an expert on her. But he he's like all in. He's like, she's a vampire, basically. <laughs> basically, not quite. But he start like nearly right up the top of the episode. This is a quote from him, which I'm like, I don't, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Or you've got weird opinions. Anyway, he goes, it's far more frightening in a way than a male doing that sort of thing. It's a female torturing and killing young girls. I was like, what are you talking about? What the fuck? It's so weird. That's more frightening. To to this professor. Oh, fuck off. Who's dedicated his life to studying. What's his point there? Is that like a... The, is it women shouldn't do that to other women or that she should have more maternal instincts or that women are soft and don't do awful yeah, I, things? I couldn't. Because guess what? It's 2018 <laughs> and women can murder. Well, it wasn't 2018 when he said that, nor when she <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> killed many, many people. But, yeah, I just. I, like, oh, yeah, then it's fucked. She's fucked. There was someone about this guy. He was. Um, I'm imagining him with, like. He's exactly how you imagine him. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what are you, what are you I, thinking? I'm imagining. Quite, uh, I'm imagining like fuzzy hair, bushy what eyebrows, color? beard. Bushy I was eyebrows? imagining brown, but oh, probably gray. gone a bit grey. Yeah, grey for me. White bushy hair. eyebrows. Yeah, bushy and eyebrows. And I imagine him quite round. I don't think he wears glasses. And I think he speaks a bit like this. <laughs> yeah. I get quite animated when I'm talking about my subjects. You know, I just, I just, the thought of a woman torturing a woman, it just, it makes, it makes the mind boggle. <laughs> Does it not boggle your mind. Are we close? Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah, pretty close. It's a, oh, the mind it boggles. You just you sit there swilling, swilling your brandy, and you're like, how could a woman do that? A man could do that. Yes, I could do that. Of course, of course, I could do that. But Charlotte, Charlotte, my granddaughter, could she do that? <laughs> I think not. She, she is weak. She, she, she's a meek little thing. She can't wield a knife or butter someone's buttocks with honey. <laughs> Buttocks, someone's buttocks. <laughs> oh, you've Googled him, yes. Yes, 100%. I was imagining a bit more deranged looking, to be fair. He looks like a dapper gentleman. Yeah. Now, look, I... and I, I was imagining like a mad scientist kind of type. I told... I, yeah, I I don't know. It was, it was mainly that line, to be honest. So I'm just like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's great. No, we've built a whole character now. <laughs> there's like, you know, there's a... So uh, someone's coming at you and they're wearing a mask. Yeah. And they're killing you and you're like, well, this is pretty scary, but it's just a man, so, you know, not that scary. <laughs> Pulls yeah. off the mask and woman, oh, my God. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> uh, Rumours began to spread about Bathory's cruelty during these years also. It's pretty bad luck for the peasants, really, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine I, I, you get in the feeling that they're slaves or they are getting, you know, people are applying for the job and then being like, oh. Yeah, so I did not mention that in the no, interview. No, but it's like it's like devil's we- devil wears Prada. You know how everyone's like, no, th- nobody stays in this job, right? Like, it's just a really tough job, a hard bitch boss. Yeah, you got to find the new Harry Potter. Or you are out of there. But it's like, if you can stick it out, if you can prove yourself, huge opportunities. Great, you know, if you can stick. I think it's probably similar. If you can handle the ants, <laughs> you're going places. Yeah, you know. Uh, be- because the victims were peasants, though, and because she was in the powerful position, nothing nothing really happened. She was basically protected from having these allegations seriously Whoa. investigated. In 1604, though, a few years ahead, uh, her husband, the Count, died at the age of 48. And with, with his death, Bathory lost both her husband and also supposedly... His restraining influence. Oh no! Oh, so, whoa! But, oh no! Yeah. She was being restrained this whole time, yeah. according also, to History dot com. In the sixteen hundreds, forty eight. So, like, is that a good innings? Uh I I think it's okay. I don't he's think still it's young. great. Yeah, he's yeah. young. Yeah, she yeah. lived. She, you know, she she lives on. Yeah. Uh he. It was a mystery illness. Oh no! Um, started feeling numbness in his legs, and then a couple of years later, 
they still don't know what it was, but it wasn't her. That sounds like they were they had a great relationship. They were strong. They were tight. I know they did. So it wasn't apparently Anne's. she was quite a good mother, despite killing a lot of children. She was also apparently quite a very you know that had just not devotion. her own. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's nice, I guess. It's all, you know, I think a lot of this has been built from small amounts of information and people have inferred a lot yeah. and, you know, professors have... Boggled. Had their minds <laughs> boggled by different facts. It boggles the mind! <laughs> um, from here, some say she took her cruelty up a notch. And according to an article on... This is an article I, I liked a bit. All that's interesting.com. Have you heard of that website? Oh, love it. It's a good website. I haven't heard of it, but I'm, it's now my favourite. Neither right. It sounds great. Yeah. Uh, off that, they, they said witnesses suggested that it was at this time that the killings began. And the first victims were these peasant girls that we were talking about who were brought to the castle to work. Some said, you know, come to the castle, we'll get work for you here. Yeah, work like ants. Yeah, coming it's, at you. Yeah. Honey. You like honey? Yeah, I don't think you're going to like it much anymore. Yeah, I'm not talking on crumpets. <gasps> <laughs> um, this is from history.com again. Uh, it alleges that uh, alleges that she often bit chunks of flesh from her oh. victims, and one unfortunate girl was even forced to cook and eat her own flesh. Oh, Bathory reportedly believed that human blood would keep her from looking uh, would keep her looking young and healthy. Ew. This is told disputed still, a little bit. Told you she's still alive. Yes. Oh, well, no. this is this is something that is definitely disputed. Um, how much she was into this blood and how much of that is myth. Some say she bathed in it. Some say she drank it. Others say that is a lot of those stories came out years after she died. Right. So maybe part of the the mythos around her. But blood's well, not good for you, is it? Yeah, medical science has come a long way since. Like then. drinking, it's not good, is Vampire it? Vampire science has come a long way since then. That's not, it's not good, is it? No, it is not good. Like drinking piss. Not good. But better. Is piss or blood better? Piss, I think. I think piss would probably be more digestible. <laughs> right, okay. I don't understand anything. So the but bl- if you've got if blood I drank in a piss. pint of blood, I wouldn't Whoa. go, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't go straight to me. I wouldn't get like a blood rush? Nah. Is there such a thing as a blood rush? <laughs> rush of blood to the head. What if I pour? I mean, you're literally pouring it into your head. Oh, God. No, but I you gotta, to stop. you got to hang upside down. Just the triggers Ooh. don't think about it too much. Yeah, I'm thinking of, because I'm imagining I'm a not, pint of blood. I'm not thinking about it at all. Ugh. Don't talk like that because you're going to make me picture it. It's like really thick. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it still warm? Yeah. We cool it down. <laughs> I should say I didn't mention this at the start. Um, once uh, the listeners voted for... Serial killers is the second most popular kind of topic. Mm. I put eight different serial killers up for the polling for our patrons, and this is one that by far was the most popular. Wow, awesome. Yeah. There was a, there was so you a- sickos wanted this. Now imagine a warm pint of thick blood. No, I think a cold pint of thick blood. Yeah, yeah more refreshing. Fridge. Yeah, maybe Hot put, day? It, put it on a stick, a little popsicle, yeah. bloodsicle. Bloodsicle. Mm. G- gazpacho. Cold soup. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks, Patreon. Appreciate this. <laughs> the rumours were still ignored. And I read in a few different places that this was because they were peasants, basically. Yeah. Not just that she was powerful, but because they were peasants, so basically it meant matter. that it was no big deal. Oh, that's awful. Apparently, the line between discipline and cruelty was very fine back then. Uh, and, yeah, the workers' rights weren't what they... Yeah, it oh, wasn't the bloody nanny state that it right. is now. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you can't torture your peasants uh, anymore. You're going to need a form for everything. Uh, can, you get... sign, can you sign this? Just it's a waiver saying that I can put ants on you. No no reason. Don't worry Probably about never it. have to do it. No, it's just in case. Just in case. So back then if your dinner was five minutes late, you could tell the chef that the next meal will be them and yeah. they have to cook their own leg. <laughs> and that was everyone was like... Yeah. What's no, the that's fair. I was They're five like, minutes yeah. late. Yeah, tough but fair. Thank you. I appreciate this. Yeah. Uh, also, to tonight's meal leg? was tough but fair, so I'm going to need that other leg tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Make it bloody well done like I asked for. I mean, medium rare. Fuck. All right. Um, oh, It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how meat works. <laughs> <laughs> but soon, Bathory expanded from just peasants to torturing and murdering daughters from nobility as well. And uh, so it sounds like girls, always girls, yeah. Oh. 
Um, that is weird. It does boggle. It does boggle the mind. And that, and I think in in part that that's why the whole myth of her wanting the virgin blood and thinking that that oh. was what kept her young. I think that because it was all specifically young girls. I think that that um, <laughs> buys into that myth or whatever. Oh, Jess is, Jess is finding Jess the deaths of young virgin <laughs> women. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm interested to hear what triggered this. <laughs> Well, if she, <laughs> she sees it's, it's only virgin blood, so she's just picking young, ugly girls. <laughs> like, you're definitely a virgin. <laughs> no, I'm not, I swear. <laughs> Come on. Oh, who's going? Seriously. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's what made me laugh. <laughs> and I thought about not saying it, and then I thought, nah, I'll just say I think it. It's, I think it's funny that you think that ugly people don't have sex. <laughs> no, I know. That's, well, that's part. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> they shouldn't. <laughs> I can't help but feel a little offended. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jess. Well, how about we tell you what you can't do, huh? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the uggos will rise up <laughs> against you. What do you think about oh. that? Why? So you guys say I'm pretty. <laughs> no, we're saying you're a bloody bully. Well, I'm only assuming you're no, thinking big... that because of what you're saying. Or are you laughing about yourself? Yeah, of course. It's a self deprecating laugh. Us uggos, we all got to stay together. Us uggos. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> God, oh, Dave. I'm so Dave, sorry. Come on. I was out there. <laughs> Dave. That was not news to you. <laughs> Tell me you're not finding that out now. <laughs> I was out there banging. You were not banging, I was Dave. Ba- I am banging and I was banging. We've seen your haircut, Dave. Yeah, Dave. There's no banging. Happening. If you had that haircut back then, oh, sorry, sure. I thought you were saying you can see my haircut now. I was thinking, but what else can I do with it? <laughs> 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 what do you want from me? <laughs> oh yeah, my hand I'm back quiffing there. here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to any ugly people out there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you, Jess, I'm right. All here. virgins. It's <laughs> not because you're ugly. I was just joking. I'd love if people wrote in because they don't. They've got such low self esteem. They think you're talking about them, but enough self esteem <laughs> to be offended. <laughs> That's the real sweet spot. <laughs> I can only assume you were talking about me and I am offended. <laughs> I've had sex on no less than six occasions. No more than nine. <laughs> I don't know why it's vague like that. <laughs> Not great with numbers either. How are you going to make fun of that? <laughs> you got to keep count. <laughs> you got to. Keep a, One of the rules. Keep a tally. Keep a diary. Come on, people. Sex diary. We've all got them. We've all got them. We've all got a belt. <laughs> got two notches. <laughs> I really need to have sex again. <laughs> this, this belt's too loose. <laughs> Pants keep falling down. Don't, don't turn to us with a look of such desperation and say, <laughs> I really need to have sex again. We're your colleagues, not your friends. That's a thing to talk to your friends about. Okay. <laughs> Help me have sex again. I'm so sorry I did this to us, but it's very funny in my head. Um, Jess, I'm sorry, but that was an act out. I was what, playing I was, a character. What do you there. mean? It's a character that only has two notches in his belt. I mean, also a character who have literally got, puts notches in his belt. Have you got more notches than that? No, I don't have a belt. <laughs> That's why your pants I wear very tight down. pants. <laughs> you know this. We're colleagues. I tell you that every day. <laughs> now, colleagues can we get morning pants. tight pants? Can we get back onto topic? So let's no. just retrace our steps. Before the big laugh, Matt had just mentioned that she was choosing young virgin girls to kill. Mm-hmm. Before the big laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the only, isn't it amazing? And I, the relief for me was that it was actually an older, like centuries old yeah. serial killer. Cause, yeah. It's, um, it's still it's, fucked. It's, but um, it almost feels like it's a, a fairy tale. Yeah. You it can, doesn't You feel can real. distance yourself from it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, obviously it is. Super, super fuck. Oh, ridiculous. She's in the Guinness World, uh, Book of World Records. Yeah, wow. Um, so, she, But now she's killing wealthier kids. Yes, who and they're coming to her apparently sort of like the middle level sort of no, kids of nobility are coming to her um, to learn um, sort of like for an education in yeah. society stuff or something like that. like finishing school kind, kind of Kind of, yeah. I think. Well, that's the pretense anyway. Have yeah. their parents not heard the rumours? She says finishing school. She means it. <laughs> Life finishing school. <laughs> Matt, that was very clever. Thank you very Did much. Did you write that down? No. Well, I mean, Jess, only, yeah, I'm, Jess said finishing <laughs> school and I went, 
<laughs> tap a tap a tap. Oh, I've totally lost my spot on the page. I did not need to mime that so convincingly. <laughs> it's almost not even miming it when you just type. Yeah, when you just hit your keyboard for a bit. Um, uh, the parent, like the rumors, must have been around. So why are they sending him there? Maybe they're thinking, well, she's doing that to peasants, sure, but not, <laughs> yeah, yeah. not my girl. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It was when she started going after these children of noble families that things started to come unstuck for her as well. Uh, word got back to the king and he took action. This is from Britannica. Her cousin, Georgie Thurzio. <laughs> Can't. What is that, Irish? There's an umlaut in the first word and an accent in the second. I don't know. That could be anything. Give me, give me your best shot of that. Oh, yeah, no, it's exactly how he said it. Let's um, Georgie Thurzo. Georgie sounds like a great name. Yeah. Georgie. Let's say Georgie Thurzo. So he's Count Palatine of Hungary. He was also, um, when the Count died, he was the guy that um, said, you know, look after my my kids and my wife. So and, and and then he is the guy who's been ordered by the king to go and investigate oh. these allegations. Oh, so he's a bit conflicted. So it's a, Yeah, it's a bit conflicted, but, you know, he did what the king told him to do. Yep. Depending on the source, when Thurzo arrived, he either found Bathory in the act of killing or at least found very incriminating evidence, i.e. bodies <laughs> of dying and dead torture victims. It's hard to deny. I what? what? I wonder what, what she did with the bodies. Well, some of the things I read, like he came and there were bodies everywhere. There were bodies in the fireplace. The, our our um, professor friend, you know, he just everything for him was just big. He's like... There were bodies under the bed. There were bodies in the cupboards. There were bodies on her hat. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, so she's still got her own children. Is it just the norm for them that there's bodies around or well, she yeah, keep that separate? That's, that's a wild thing for me. Yeah. I think that by this stage they're probably adult children, I think. Oh. It must smell so bad. So bad. Yeah, that's what they, that's what they say. That's what like I, the poo room. Oh, yeah. And the, the <laughs> colour bomb. Yeah. It search. makes the poo room sm- Look, smell nice, but I part of me I, I I'm like it 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 sounds so fantastical to me that it I don't it really can't believe it, but be, no, just because I don't like that much clutter, <laughs> that drive me insane. Yeah. yeah, but what do you do with clutter? You shove it under the bed. Yeah. No, what you do is you get your servants to, to sort it. Oh, oh. oh hang on, I oh, got to no. get new servants. Mary, clean up. Oh, oh, that oh. was Mary. Mary, clean up yourself. <sighs> oh. Oh, dear. Mary, are you dead yet? If not, jump in the fireplace. (laughs) Could you drag yourself? (laughs) Oh, no. Uh, So, Georgie uh, oversaw an investigation which included something like 300 witnesses and he collected evidence from all of them and there were some horrific crimes accused of Bathory. A lot of these accusations were compiled in the All That's Interesting article that I was talking about before uh, and they include the following. Now, if you are queasy... Block your ears, but obviously, if you've got this far, you're probably fine. I okay. mean, if you pick I'm gonna, this up, I'm going to try Matt's approach of just not picturing it. Too yeah, much. just don't picture it. I have not done any real picturing. Okay. I'm right. if if I'm picturing any of this, it's like hand drawn pictures. Yeah. Okay. Cartoons. Oh, interesting term for it. Do like I hear that. A- is that what is that French? <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear a? Do go animation coming up? Oh, John, no. <laughs> no, please, John, no. please, John, no. Um. I've put them in a handy dot points. Wonderful. Love a dot point. Uh, so these are some of the accusations. All right. Just go through them. That Bathory burned her victims with hot irons. Okay. That's fine. I heard this explained by others that- Why is that fine, Jess? <laughs> Why? That um, apparently in medicine at that time, they would do that to try and stop bleeding sometimes, burn wounds with hot irons. So, so she some really say maybe she was- yeah, Helping. Maybe. And it's uh, a lot easier to burn someone with a hot iron than a cold iron. Exactly. It's got to be really cold. Yeah. Uh, like ice. Yeah. An ice iron. Yeah. Uh, they accused her of beating them to death with clubs. Okay. But back then they used to seal wounds by hitting them with clubs. Clubs, yeah. Oh, I was imagining nightclubs again. Oh, yeah. No, Much this is more g- golf clubs. Ah. Um, Just don't be an idiot. Come on. Sorry. Golf clubs. She had a caddy with her. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Four iron? Four iron. What are we about? About 170. 180 yards. Four! <laughs> 180 yards away. Going to have to really chase after them. We're going to have to throw this club. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I have great aim. Um, like I said before, she stuck needles under fingernails. Yeah. Again, stopping bleeding. 
strip them naked out in the freezing cold. Hot. Actually, it sounds like a lot of these things also included stripping them naked. Okay, but, so we take that not, as a given? I think for the most part, yeah. This one, though, is specific because it's stripping them naked out in the freezing cold before pouring ice water over their bodies and leaving them to freeze to death. It's not very nice. We have mentioned that in a previous episode about someone who would do that and then from the balcony watch them turn into ice statues. Really? I can't remember which. It was definitely a previous person who would who was. wasn't I Vlad. That. That's sick. It would make think, sense that it was. I don't think it was Vlad. Do you remember that at no, all? No, I don't. Yeah, they would pour water on them and then watch them oh. from the in, in an interior courtyard walk around until they turn into a statue. Oh, William Shakespeare. Yes. Classic prick. <laughs> In my, I wanted to say the Harry Potter writer, but I couldn't think of her name. I reckon J. that would have been funnier. Damn it. That would have been, imagine I said that. What I mean. That would have been funnier. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but I, mean, I don't imagine that, like the any up in statues. Surely you'd just be in the fetal position. It's not a very interesting statue. Nobody's going to be like just holding just like a triumphant power pose. pose while they freeze to death, you know? I reckon With a sword on, yeah. a, on a horse. <laughs> Nobodyody's thinking of that as you're dying. Like if you wanted to, you'd. You'd start flipping them the bird and hope that oh, you'd be like flipping them off. I'd want to. Mm. Yeah. No, nah, I'd be doing sharkers, I reckon. <laughs> so I looked sick. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be mime and ripping a bong. Yeah, fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four twenty. <laughs> Unconvincingly, like I just did. <laughs> ripping a bong. <laughs> 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 Stay in school, kids. <laughs> uh, she covered them in honey, like we said before. Yep. This one said before watching bugs feast on her exposed on their exposed skin. Bugs, you know, like okay. like Christmas the locust. beetles, Christmas beetles, ladybugs. Did you say ladybugs or lady beetles? Interesting, huh? So, Two types of people. Say ladybird. Ladybird, yeah. <gasps> is that an option I gave? No, ladybug or lady <laughs> beetle. beetle. That's not one. Is it? Lady it's ladybird or ladybug. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's I it. say both. I say lady beetle. Ladybugs are cute. What are those ones that kind of roll up? They're like really weird looking, oh, and they kind of roll what up. What do we call them? Um, Slater bugs. Yes, because I. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I was very tired when I got home last night. Never heard Slater bugs. Oh, yeah. And I was just lying. I, I took my shoes off and I lay on, on my back on my bed just with my knees up and my chest just in a little ball. Bit of a knees up. And I couldn't remember, uh, like, the bug that I was trying to be. <laughs> and I was like, you know, the ones that are like, uh, like they kind of roll up a bit. Slater bug or you're thinking of a millipede. No, millipede. Slater bug. Slater bug is what I was, what I was thinking of, not a millipede. Millipedes are horrible. Anyway. I was tired. It was a fun story there, wasn't it? Slater bug? Yeah. yeah. And they're like grey. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Oh. And they, they live in like wood. Yeah, well, they're actually called, according to the search, woodlouse. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they do live in. Or um, terrestrial isopod crustacean. Well, that's what I was imitating when I got home <laughs> last night. I couldn't believe you couldn't remember ter- terrestrial crustacean. That is weird. I don't know, I'd, I'd never seen them before. People also search for millipede. There you go. Earwigs. That's, I've heard of that. Bugs that roll up. Anyway. Um, do you think the professor um, would be more afraid of ladybugs than other bugs? <laughs> uh, I just said muggles of mind. <laughs> <laughs> she also, I haven't even finished these dot points yet. She also sewed their lips together. Oh, I don't enjoy that. That's the only time I saw that reference. And this one was What's referenced a little bit. Bit chunks of flesh off their breasts and faces. Oh, the face. That's fucked. Yeah, it's because you don't face. have breasts, so you can't picture that. Yeah. That's Get on the bench press, either. Dave. Yeah. Sort yourself out. I'm trying. <laughs> Try, I'm trying. <laughs> trying you. <laughs> uh, the article went on to say that, in addition, witnesses said Bathory liked using scissors to torture her victims. Mm. She used the instrument to cut off their hands, noses, and genitals. One of her favorite pastimes, witnesses said, was using scissors to slice open the skin between her victim's fingers. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to read that I paragraph love that much. Pastime. Yeah. There. I mean, that's what you're I gonna mean, that's what uh, you're gonna get from all that's interesting.com. All that's fucked up.org. Mm. Gross. Okay, but so they've investigated her. Yes, so this has all come out of the investigations. So I'll talk a little bit more about those and then I'll tell you what happened from there. Uh, at the time of Thurzo's investigation, 
Uh, some accused her of cannibalism, obviously, with the, the eating of flesh, while others claim, claim to have seen her have sex with the devil himself. Okay, well, I don't know. Finally, something I believe here. <laughs> so you know what, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, like? They're like, it's almost like they're just they're going, what's evil things? Let's just list off yeah. fucked yeah. up stuff. Um, probably the most. And also, why are you watching people have sex, you weirdo? Yeah. Like, avert your eyes. Yeah. That's rude. Give Beelzebub some privacy. That's rude. Yeah. Uh, how rude. So rude. So rude. Satan on the streets, satin in the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> You see that pause there? That was me processing that, making sure it made <laughs> nearly any sense. It didn't, but I still went with it. Uh, but probably the most famous or infamous accusation and the one that gave her the nickname the Blood Countess was that she bathed in the blood of her young victims in an attempt to maintain a youthful appearance. Did it work? Was she a babe? Uh, you know, beauty standards change. Uh, That's a no. Yeah, I'll go. Classic <laughs> Ugo defense. Big old Ugo. Everyone has, you know, beauty is wow, definitely. Wow, she's real ugly. Wow, man. I mean, he's you gotta, digging deep. There's a paragraph about this. She's fugly. Ooh. She's yuck. You know, she's ugly. She's ugly. <laughs> she's ugly. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Um, there's no photos of her. Uh. <laughs> there <laughs> because are, it was a 1500. There are statues and drawings and stuff. Oh, know, she just looks like, she looks like classic. Olden days royalty yeah. woman. Fo- no like- oil paintings? She is no oil painting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after hearing the accusations, Thurzo ultimately charged Bathory with the deaths of 80 girls. Um, one witness did claim that uh, there were 650 victims in total and she claimed that saying that she kept a record and there was a book of it, that Bathory kept a record and there was this, some sort of weird death diary where she'd write all the names down in it. Oh, she's got a sex diary and a death diary. But the neither, She's thorough. Wow. Neither diary was ever found. Oh. So it's not really believed to be true. 80 People- is still ridiculous. But also so I know that they're peasants but they still have families, like they're still people, yeah. they're Parents don't notice they're gone, or I think I think they do, but they they'll they can't do anything about they, it. They're also connected. She's connected to the church. Yeah, she's um, powerful with them. She goes, give them a normal burial. Say it's you know a lot of and people did die young. C- c- certainly poorer people would. Shit. Oh, like ev- I think everyone, like like you said before, uh, expected age. Yeah, death age yeah, was he, younger. You just be like, sorry, she got sick. Yeah. Illnesses went around and wiped yep. people out. So, but it's like oh, a lot of people getting sick after they've come to work for you for a brief amount of time. Oh, it really see it always has paid to be wealthy. <laughs> you can just get away with stuff. God, I can't wait to be wealthy. <laughs> so you can get away with. Do you reckon one day I'll be wealthy? Not really. No, thanks, Matt. It's usually keep me grounded, <laughs> and also from killing. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want to Wait, kill. Everyone. I just what want to be. Do? What does she want to get away with? I don't know. Like... It's usually charismatic people that are wealthy. Sorry. sorry. Oh, get It's fucked. also normally the charismatic ones that seem to be the, the murderer types because the like, they get away with it. Yeah. yeah. Again, great that I'm not charismatic. <laughs> Oof. Dodged, Dodged a bullet. A bullet. <laughs> and so did a lot of other people. <laughs> that wouldn't be my method. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you I'm, thought this through. I'm a lot more hands on, a lot more personal. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> the <laughs> bow and arrow <laughs> <laughs> from a distance. Yeah, I'm quite hands on oh. with, with the bow and the arrow. Here's <laughs> my hands. I don't like loud noises. Guns are too loud. Mm, bang! No. Ooh. Use a silencer. Damn it. <laughs> a what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but with a bow and arrow, it's just a <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boner. <laughs> really turns her on. I get, I get really oh, yeah. erect. Boyoing. <laughs> That's the zip going down. <laughs> Thwip, boing, and the boner boing. coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now time. It improves to- my accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm rock hard, I it, hit the bullseye every time. It always points due north. <laughs> <laughs> it also tests the oh, wind. <laughs> compass dick back. <laughs> this way, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lead us to safety. <laughs> Safety is always turning north. around, like to go. The the army's behind her, just like 
<laughs> Change of direction. <laughs> 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 You're missing some fun face work from Dave. <laughs> That's why we say you've always should be here in the studio with us. And we invite people every week and they don't turn up. What's right. with you people? <laughs> What's with you? You dogs. If you're in Melbourne, uh, there's live shows always. Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> Check out our website, dogoon.com. Dogoonpod.com. Fuck. What did I say? Dogoon.com. Dogoonpod.com slash what's the live shows? Your mum's butt. That's it. I think it's live dash shows. <laughs> Dave. Say it correctly. And could you also update the URL so that that works? Your mum's butt. Oh, yeah. Can you do that? <laughs> I think I can. Do you have that power? Does yeah, the internet yeah, allow that? I can do that. Does the and I just wanted to be a big one of me going. <laughs> do go on pod.com slash your mum's butt. All right. I'll try and get that happening. That I'll speak to our webmaster, our web wizard. You're talking about, you're talking about yourself in the third person? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, know, I know a guy. It's me. Ask, ask me those famous three words. What are those famous three words? <laughs> Dave, say the Oh, say do the, go on. Say the name of the fuck. I thought you like, ask me what they are. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, thought, I was like, where's this going? It's not a question. I should have said, command me. Do go on. Sorry. Yeah, I don't understand. So that's what, on you. What are her famous three words? <laughs> that's on you. I mean, they're, they, they're, they're both, not famous. Everything about what I said Both was very clever people on the podcast didn't pick up on what you were saying. But you did eventually. So both say, ugly, clever people. <laughs> that's right. Say those, ask those famous three words. Well, what are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? No. Do oh. go on. So, so there were arrests, right? Yeah. These servants were charged as her accomplices and put on trial in 1611. They were convicted of the crimes and punished in similarly brutal ways to what they were accused of. Oh. So do you reckon, though, that because they were her servants, so they kind of were forced into it? Yeah, well, it feels it's like. Not, I mean, what's the likelihood that she happened to hire two servants who were also sickos? Yeah, we're right. Four. Four servants. Four. At all, and also, like, oh, I've seen what happens to the servants who, you know, for no real reason. Yeah. Yeah, but not say anything. And also just those work conditions. There's bodies everywhere. Yeah. Ugh, no thank you. But no, thank you're saying you. the, fun, the punishment punishment fit the crime. <laughs> not fun. Punishment. It, I don't think it was a punishment. No, but the punishment fit the crime. So you did this to someone, so we're doing it Well, to it's not, yeah, similar. I guess it was just, in the, I guess, back in those days, Punishments were more fucked up anyway. Mm. One was beheaded, uh, and then the others. I read. I read slightly varying things on this. Had their hands chopped off, or had their fingers pulled off with pliers, or something like that. Oh uh, and, god! And then, and then were burnt at the stake. Fuck. Maybe as maybe as witches, which. Right. I we- didn't say that. that wasn't across everything. So it's like where? Yeah, I guess. Wow. If it was in that time where things were just you, you're a witch, if if you know you're a witch because I think you might be, then this is probably one thing where people would be like, yeah, this feels a bit witchy. Yeah, sure, sure. Finally, something that actually seems witchy. Yeah, that's full on. Bathory was never tried though. What? Instead, she was confi- confined to her chambers at Castle Kastich, uh and not allowed to leave. She was basically bricked in, I think, and she remained there. Until she died on August twenty first, sixteen fourteen, at the age of fifty four. So it was another five years. Yeah, I think she was in there. Yeah, four or five years. Bricked in. Yeah. Why the? Fuck? Apparently, she'd get her food through a little hole. A guy put a tray through, and then on the night that she died, she was she she said, "Oh, I've got I've got a weird feeling in my arms." I think she said something like, "I've got a bit of a weird feeling," and, and her guard guy was like, "You'll be right. Go have a nap." And she just never woke up. Ah. Uh... She got away with it, so really. So she got to die kind of peacefully. Yeah. In pr- her home prison. Oh, I guess she was really rich. Fucked. Yeah, and the, and the reasons for this are, are different things. It sounds like the, I think the king wanted to kill her as well, like punish her to, by death. But people were like, this will be bad for the nobility in general. It, you know, that it's all... Sounded like things were all on a knife's edge, you know. Oh, the, right, there was your the family, different, my family. And yeah. then the Pro- Protestants and Catholics, and also there was just a lot of different oh. families, and so for whatever reason, they thought this would be the. Her, she still had a powerful family there. Um, the king also obviously was owed them a lot of money, and and oh, yeah. that was waived that debt in this deal. So 
little moving little moving pieces. Oh, that's fun. I'll, I'll, I'll read it out rather than just spluttering what I just did then. Uh, there's still plenty of conjecture about how true the accusations are, and modern historians debate over a wide spectrum of what the reality was. From at one end, she killed 650 young women and girls and bathed in their blood in an attempt to stay young at one end. And at the other end, some argue that it was all a stitch up to take her wealth and power and she didn't even do any of it. And then there's a lot of people in the middle of, of right. that. Yeah, I'm going to fall somewhere in the middle. I, don't, I think 650 is too high, realistically. It's a, yeah, it's that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. That's like, you know, oh, too many. How do you get that many people, you know? Yeah, and just, I mean, she's doing it across... Like majority at that one castle, but she also had other castles around. So apparently, you know, she was doing it in different places. But I'm definitely not in the camp of it was a stitch up. Right. She's innocent. Too too much. It's a big stitch up, I guess. Yes. Do you think the Guinness World Book of World Records stitch people up? I don't think so. (laughs) I I would never accuse them of such a thing. Exactly. They are bastions of journalism. I don't call them that. (laughs) Sorry. Sorry about that. You bastion. (laughs) Uh, this is from Britannica. While documents from Bathory's trial support the accusations made against her, modern scholarship has questioned the veracity of the allegations. Bathory was a powerful woman, made more so by her control of Count Nadadzdi's holdings after his death, and the fact that a large debt owed by Matthias to Bathory was cancelled in her fam- uh, by her family in exchange for permitting them to manage her captivity suggests that her uh, that the acts attributed to her were politically motivated slander that allowed relatives to appropriate her lands. So that's pretty bold from Britannica. Yeah, wow, they're really going they're, they're, out saying she didn't do it. Closer to the stitch up end of things. Wow. Um. Well, or they're reporting that um, modern scholarship. Has Imagine questioned if it. it was. Imagine if it was just a stitch up. It would be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Whoa. Like that's Crazy. a lot of people have to make up a lot of things. Yeah. Like, you know, 300 people that have been questioned or at least that's been falsified or whatever. Um, so these debts that the king had to Bathory were perhaps motivators for the accusations. On top of this, there are historians who believe that the many witnesses who provided incriminating effort, evidence did so under duress or while being tortured themselves. Right. Say she spread honey on you. Or I'll put more honey on you. Yeah. So, and I, I think we now know that if that is, people don't give good uh, information if they're be, if they're being tortured, they'll say what the torturer wants to hear rather than. Yeah, I suppose it could have been like I've written out what I want you to say, just sign here. Yeah. Um, or look at that bucket, bucket of cold water. There's a lot of honey in that bucket of cold water. Of, <laughs> cold honey in that bucket of. <laughs> And we're going to go put you out there with those icy ants. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a little mashup here, just trying out, see what can happen. It's just these dead ants. <laughs> dead ants and then like a sticky, see what happens. a sticky person walking around the courtyard going, this is weird. Can I come Frozen honey, like in a yeah. bucket that just like hits yeah. them in on one sludge and just yeah. falls off. And then it's like, ow, my thigh. <laughs> All right, I think you've learned your lesson. Right. A sign here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't want to. I just want to get away from you. <laughs> uh, potentially, some historians say uh, this is the true story of Elizabeth Bathory, and this is from all that's interesting. She owned strategically important land that increased her family's already already vast wealth, and as an intelligent, powerful woman who ruled without a man by her side, and as a member of a family whose wealth intimidated the king, his court went on a mission to discredit and ruin her. Mm. As the feminists of this podcast, I'd like to say, I reckon, I have no idea. Uh, they conclude their article saying, <laughs> the best case scenario is that Bathory abused her servants but came nowhere near the level of violence alleged at her trial. Worst case, she was a blood-sucking demon sent from hell to murder virgins. <laughs> Both make for a good story, even if only one of them is actually true. Hang on. I They're think saying the first one, one doesn't or the other. make a good story. A woman that kind of treated her peasant or her servants badly. Mm. That's not a good story. Well, it is if she had the torture chamber but just used it to, like, but, yeah, so that's slap them about a bit. <laughs> it sounds like, well, I mean, she's saying abuse. I think they were saying it was pretty bad but not the worst. But So they're saying at the best case she... It was awful. So we can say she's not categorically she's a bad person. It just it's how bad. Yes, yes. I think that 
That is, that is probably true. Yeah. If you go back to our professor, mate, that we were talking about before, <laughs> one of his early quotes is, he just, it was a lot of sound bites. So I reckon that the... the the Discovery Channel, over whoever put that um, episode together, would have been like loving him. It, he was just quote like just it sounded like he was in the room just saying things he could remember, <laughs> you know. Like he goes, uh, "Power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely." And she had absolute power. <laughs> so it's, it's, <laughs> and therefore, <laughs> yeah. so, the right. power was absolute. <laughs> yeah, we get it. <laughs> Yeah, we get you to yeah, say that again, yeah. but just stop about five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, whatever the truth, the, the legend lives on, and that's the end of the report. She is still seen as... She's still alive. <laughs> and, well, and if she hadn't been bricked up, I reckon she would still be alive because she'd still be drinking the blood of virgins. Yeah. Which is, oh. We all know modern science has discovered the blood of virgins is the life force that keeps us going. Yeah, She's gone on to inspire... So many different kinds of art, music. There's a band named after her, um, paintings, books, films. So there are there's, there's, paintings. There's plenty of um, <laughs> paintings that have been inspired, but I don't know if they were painted at the time. They possibly could have been. On uh, another video I watched, there was a guy, a BBC thing, where a guy went uh, to her hometown and to the museum, and the, the portrait of her is out the back in storage. So he went, like, they were filming out the back. For some reason, it's out the back in storage. What's another guy, like a vlogger? He went to the castle and he did a little tour of the castle. There's like a real Ocker Aussie guy who does like ghost vlogs. Oh, Love no, it. No. And he's like <laughs> he was he was a real character. And he um he show he was in the town and he goes, they, they love it here. It's like imagine imagine a town who's so proud of this serial killer that they <laughs> there's like statues of it. Look at this statue, look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, zoomed in on his handy cam onto her face of this wooden statue. It's like, yeah, I mean, any wooden statue is going to have some pretty odd-looking eyes. <laughs> look at those eyes. Sinister. <laughs> <laughs> look at that wooden look on her face. It's a bit strange, a bit sus. <laughs> and, yeah, he went around there. So, the, yeah, the castle, a lot of it's still there. So maybe one day we'll in get Hungary. Uh, well, that no, one sorry, is, this in is in Slovakia. modern day Slovakia. Wow, we've got to go there. Put it on the tour, baby. Put it on the list. We've got to get a world map going with some pins. Oh. <gasps> we'll take him out of it. Map. Take him out of our peasants. Put him into the board. Yes, sure. Let's do it. I guess if we're going to take him out of our peasants and yeah. put him into our board. Why can't we just buy more pins? I don't want to take him out of the peasants. Well, they haven't earned it yet. Good point. That is a good point. Like <laughs> good, pins have. Good point. <laughs> So that was suggested by Sandy Tide, Jacob, Chris Waters, and Cinderella Chenobite. Thank you to those sickos. Yeah, thank you, sick fucks. And to the sickos on Patreon who thought that that would be the best serial killer to report. That was a great report. Thanks, Matt. Didn't know about her. Well done, Matty. The only thing I think I know about her is the blood thing because I remember going to one of those sort of Madame de Swords type things, but it's not Madame de Swords. It's like more of like like a a fucked up one, like a – like a dungeon of London or Edinburgh or something, and there was like a lady, and she's pictured in a bath of blood. Right. And I reckon that must have been her. Uh, it wasn't oh, yeah, Queen okay. Elizabeth II. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, the blood's going cold. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch me more hot blood. <laughs> um, now it's time for the segment I like to call, because that's what its name is, Fact, Fact quote, quote or question. And a listener has made a jingle for it, so I'll put it in here. Fact quote or fact quote or fact quote or question. Fact quote or fact quote or fact quote or question. Hey. What a jingle. What? We should also say thank jingle. you to that listener, and I'll bring up their name now because a great jingle, a lot of effort went into it. Yeah, that is funny that I was just going to put it in without the name, but I would forgotten about doing it till just then. Now the pressure's on for me to figure out how to download it because I have <laughs> tried a couple of times and I'd, I I think I've just got to sign up to it. Perry Ritter. Thank you so much, Perry. Sent it in. You don't need to download it, mate. He emailed it to us. Yes. <laughs> got an MP3 of it. Perry Ritter. Hey, Dave, Matt and Jess. Per Matt's <laughs> request, I have attached my jingle for a oh, fact, quote or question. Cheers, friends. Perry Ritter. Me. Thanks Thank so much, you, Perry. Perry. Thanks Perry. for making it, the internet easier for me. <laughs> you brought the internet to me. <laughs> you absolute fool. <laughs> uh, so this week's fact, quote, or questioner is second timer, Kevin Ulysses Packrad. 
Kevin. Oh, I love that name so much. I don't know. It's just it's a combination. His title used to be uh, the, I think it was the Deputy Vice President of Cannelloni Production or something. <laughs> uh, but he's changed it now to Sketchy Pup Fender. Oh, sold a pup. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, I get the joke, Kevin. <laughs> and he's given us a quote this time with a little message here. He says, hey, guys. Love what you did with my first fact, even though it had various mistakes that I am so sorry about. And since I sold Matter Pup last time, I would like to change my title for this. <laughs> um, sorry, Dave. No more sweet cannelloni. <laughs> Disappointing. Where did the cannelloni thing in you start from, David? I don't remember that origin. Do I? I mainly it's just me liking cannelloni. Oh, that makes sense. Soft, easy to eat, but very tasty on the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and I pulled matching faces. Oh, Kevin gets it. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. this is uh, this is the sketchy pop vendor, <laughs> Kevin Packrad's quote. <laughs> you know, if you take everything I've done in my entire life and condense it down into one day, it looks decent. And that comes from the great George Costanza. <laughs> <laughs> he said also, that was my cousin's yearbook quote. Who is going to Notre Dame next year? Oh, Does that sound right? Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. Notre Dame, baby. Notre Dame. Okay, you're saying it wrong. Notre Dame. I'm saying it with a, the wrong accent. I think Notre Dame. Because you'd say like we'd say Notre Dame, right? Yes. And they but they say Notre Dame. Yep. <laughs> I love it. They do it way better. Uh so that is. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Kevin, and that. Um, if you want to do a fat code or question, you can support us on the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash pod. Mm. That's right. And you can get all sorts of rewards while uh, keeping the this little show pony ticking along. A couple of bonus episodes per month we're doing at the moment. Two bonus episodes that no one else except the patrons here. So get on board. We'd love to have your support. And uh, it's a good old time on there. Great mm. community of people we're building on the Patreon. The last that? one we did was about uh, the... Mandela effect. Mandela effect. That's right. When what people misremembering, possibly, or reality changing. Find out if you listen to that episode. A lot of fun, that one. Dave shreds a new portal hole in that theory. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Dave shreds a new portal. You ripped it a new arsehole, but big, that would, some part of their theories was that it portals to different dimensions and different realities. You probably forget, but I went deep into the Mandela effect. <laughs> I'm a skeptic. Yeah, I think it turned out normally at least one of us <laughs> is on board. Is on board, but that one not so much. It was fun though. Listen to us tear that it was new fun. asshole. Um, normally, because uh, what we're going to do now is is what we do at the end of every episode, where we thank some Patreons yes, by for name the, for their generous support for their support. And normally we tr- sort of try and make it themed to the episode. Yeah. Um, but this episode was fucked. All right. So if they were a peasant, how would we torture them? <laughs> yeah, see, I don't want to do no. that. So um, uh, how do we, what do we do here? I was thinking name their castle. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah what was her okay. great nickname? Was it, it was uh, pretty effed, wasn't it? Uh, the Blood Countess. The or Blood Countess, Countess what is, Dracula. What is there the count, <laughs> they're a count or countess. But not of blood, but of something else. Yeah, okay. A, a different body part. <laughs> yeah, okay. They've got to be a body part. The body part. part of blood. <laughs> no, a different type of bodily fluid. Oh, oh no. no. There There's aren't so that many. many. There's only so many. Yeah, so somebody's got to be the Count Cumula. <laughs> <laughs> well, I reckon the first person would be pretty into that. Uh, or, yeah, no, okay. No. Body, or, or just we could fluids. Do, but we could do fluids. Just or fluids. Just, or anything. <laughs> Yeah. Countess anything. Yes. Fluids is first funny. Thing that, Fluids is funny. I want to hear the first thing that Dave comes uh, comes Great. to your mind, Dave, when I say I'd love to thank Brandon Edwards from Jefferson, Indiana. The Count of Gatorade. Ooh. Yeah, what flavour? Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Blood orange? Blood orange. Oh. Blood orange Gatorade. Oh, that's some good stuff, Brandon. Ooh. Count Gatorade. Indiana. You know that is the state that... Of hydration. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. The hydration state. Go hydros. <laughs> <laughs> Electrolytes. It also contains a little old town that we like to call Gary, Indiana. Yes, which we're going to be getting to next year if all goes to plan. That is right. Thanks to our Patreon supporters. 
<laughs> supporters. <Well, laughs> I, I, I was just thinking whether they want us to go to Gary or not. Supporters. I've already had a, quite quite a few people say they'll drive to Gary. Yes. Oh, let me We've t- also had a lot of people say, please don't go to Gary. Yeah, but I think they're starting to come around. They know we're definitely going. We're so. going. So you've got to just deal with it. I mean, I'm looking at whether uh, Brandon could get there. It's but an 89-hour walk. <laughs> Ah, easy peasy. But if you drove there, Brandon, I'm on. Um, I'm also on Bing Maps, and it is hard to use. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm miss Google there. so much. Four hours, four hour drive <laughs> from uh, Jeffersonville to Gary, Indiana. <laughs> easy. That's an easy drive. How Locked long? Four, four hours. hours. Jeez, Indiana's biggish. Yeah. Well, I think he's right down the bottom, on, on the Gary's border right of Kentucky. <gasps> Ooh, bourbon country, which is very very cool. Fried chicken country. And also, huh. I was going to say Gatorade country, but that's definitely Florida. <laughs> anyway, Brandon also, Edwards, thanks so much. Thanks so much. The Count of Gatorade. <laughs> Blood orange. Puts back in when the sweat takes out. <laughs> that was one of those brands. Uh, I'd also love to thank from Colorado Springs in Colorado. I oh, assume, wow. What a combo. John Stewart. Uncle John. Spells it wrong, but all good, all the same. Count of milk. <laughs> the Count of milk. One milk, please. Yeah. <laughs> and done. He's good. Milk. The I, I like that. So milk. John is just an hour drive from Denver, which contains Denver Airport. <gasps> which which is where Blucifer lives. That's right. It's on the, the long list, I should say, of American places to visit. We've got a long, long dream list. We're going to whittle that down mm. based on basically where people are downloading from. So if, you, if you're in the US and you're thinking, I'd love them to come to where I am, get all your friends, all your family members onto the show because the more people that come to the show, obviously, the more viable it is, viable it is for us to come to all 50 states. <laughs> Fuck, that'd be so good. Even Hawaii. Oh, we well, gotta, gotta go Alaska. to Hawaii on the way home just for a bit of R and R. R and R in Alaska. Yeah, a bit of hang ten. <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> Thank you to the count of milk. Aloha. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> to well, everyone. I everything. would like to thank, if, if I could thank some beautiful, beautiful people. Please. <laughs> All the way from Tom's River. Oi, that's my river. It, I'm Tom. And it's in New Jersey. Yes. It is in New Jersey. Tom's River. I love the sound of that. It, I love, oh, uh, I'm looking at where that is. That is, that is a beautiful, right on the east coast there. Why don't you uh. just thank the person first? Oh, look, look at what the town just to the north is called. Brick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from Brick, New Jersey. And really close to a- Asbury Park, which is where I'm pretty sure the man Bruce Springsteen's from. There's someone at oh, home having heart album. palpitations like, is thinking, it me? Is, is it, it me? me? Is it me? Hey, I'm laying bricks here. <laughs> Shitting bricks here, I should have said. Anyway, from Tom's River, New Jersey, maybe I've been putting it off because I don't want to butcher your name here, but uh, I'm going to have a crack. Kayla Hodkowitz. I reckon that's pretty good. Yeah. Kayla Hodkowitz. Hodkowitz. Which has a W, a C, and a Z. A, a C? Oh, <laughs> what wacky alphabet is this? <laughs> Honestly, he is ridiculous. Well, let me ask when you. When you come from Warnicky and he's like, oh, it's got some weird letters in there. Fair call. Absolutely fair call. But when people butcher my name, I hate them. I take him to task. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's the weirdest pronunciation you've had? Um, not Warnique? Yeah, I've had Warnique a few times, which I really like. <laughs> yeah, yeah Warnique's good. nice. But it, pretty. it probably should be Warnicky, right? Vanake. Vanake. I get a... Uh, David Varnakai. Oh, yeah, David Varnakai. I get Warnecki. Oh, I like that. Warnecki. Yeah. Xavier Michael Edis calls me Warnecki. Um, does he know uh, for, no. that he's wrong? Initially or? he didn't know, then discovered he was saying it wrong, and then was like, I'm just going to double down. It's fun. Yeah, it's great. Name how, how often is he saying his sound? Is this M saying you or something? Uh, no, just when I see him, he'll say, hey, Warnecki. <laughs> Work with him sometimes at the project. He's saying Warnicky. He calls me. Oh, even Kirko. in modern days, feels like you must have known him for ten years. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe five. That's a, that's a long time. Save your Michael Lagis. <laughs> anyway, Kayla <laughs> Honkowitz. She's the Countess of Matt. Oh, okay. Liquid. All right, Count- I'm not knocking that one out. Kayla Honkowitz um, is the Countess of sea salt water. <laughs> 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 is that normal water with cracked sea salt in it? Yes. 
<laughs> yes, it is. Uh, it is good for opening your pores in your gullet. Sea salt water on Tom's River. I, since I had my wisdom teeth out, I have to rinse my mouth out with salt water after every time I eat. Exactly. Are you still doing that? So you yes. get it. It must be the longest recovery of all time. No, I have big gaping holes in my mouth. Amazing. I don't know how this is so surprising to you. I had major surgery. Matt, did you say you were at work the next day? I yeah, but I'm very, like the Wolverine. I was yeah. very brave. You're very. I'm so sorry. You are very brave. And also, I imagine that salt water tastes terrible. I kind of like it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's one of those things. I've uh, always liked it. I've always have loved you, salt. Dark chocolate with salt. Where do you stand on that? I don't like dark chocolate. Chocolate with salt. <laughs> when I, yeah, yeah big fan. Salt. No, when I was in, um, when I was traveling around Europe years and years ago. There was a lint chocolate that was milk chocolate with sea salt. Here you can get dark chocolate. Mm. I fuck. I just remembered it then. I'm finding it when there we're was over for, there for a little while. I think Cadbury's was doing one with like salty crackers and chocolate, like yeah. the crackers CCs. on top. Haven't they just done one with CCs? Like Dorito? oh maybe like that corn doesn't chips. sound any good. Apparently, it's yeah, there's right. chocolate with corn chips. Anyway, absolutely right. I don't know those ones. Yeah, they were anyway, really good. I love salt and chocolate. Mm. Yum. Salt oh. caramel, get it at me. Kayla, the countess. Of salt, oh, sea salt water. Should I maybe just, sea like, water. I could just go salt water. Now, sea salt water. Sea salt water. It's you can bit, charge a premium. Yeah. <laughs> really, it's got a thing. certain, I don't know, I can't quite think of a word for it, but yeah, it's got a certain something anyway. Wait, hang on. Let's say a certain je ne sais quoi. Oh. Mm, if that helps the you. The countess of je ne sais quoi. <gasps> oui. Oh, bon. <laughs> Bon. I would also like to thank, from the same beautiful country, from Gastonia, North Carolina. <gasps> We've already got a great state. I wish I knew one fact about it. I don't know anything about North no, Carolina. I can't oh. think of anything. Okay. Um, I've got a few. Let me think. Which one should I go with? Okay. Well, Michael Jordan's actually from there. Um, that's where he uh, Who? went to college basketball. Uh, one of the goats. All right. <laughs> it's one of the, one of the top ten goats. Man. And he... Um, up there with Wilt the Still. And he, um, yeah, he actually went to college there. And he wore his college shorts under his NBA red Chicago Bulls shorts um, for his whole career. So Under, he wore two pairs of shorts? Yeah, two pairs. Oh, that is wacky. That is absolutely amazing. And I think I, I know what I'm going to say for this one too. I would like to thank, and we always, we love a fact about North Carolina and we love. Ball sweat. <laughs> <laughs> We love a junior, but we even more love a, a senior. tray. Oh, a tray. We even more love. <laughs> <laughs> we love our bread. We love our butter. But even more, we love Madeline. each other. <laughs> oh. I would like to thank from Gastonia, North Carolina, James Carl Williams III. Oh, I love a third. Or the Count of Michael's Secret Stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh you know that I reference? Really, really thought you were going to say ball sweat. <laughs> I think it's one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Bugs Bunny has gone. This will get this will get the other cartoon characters going. The ball goats sweat. ball sweat. One of the goats. I don't. I don't want to get his, any LeBron fans I upset out, out there. Balls myself. He's one of the top twenty goats. Uh, James Carl Williams the third. Thank you so much for thank what you. a name, James Carl Williams the third. I would like to thank someone also, a little bit closer to home this time. Oh, really? Well, a little bit, still in Western Australia. <laughs> still many thousands of kilometres so away So far us. away. In Western, Western Australia, Australia, born and, and raised. On, on a, a play. mining. On a mine. I was trying to make it. Play mine, <laughs> where I spent most, most of my, my evenings. evenings. <laughs> Chilling out, maxing, digging up iron ore, shooting up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on such a on such a good streak. Never let me <laughs> if I freestyle, it comes out. You're a bad God man. damn it! <laughs> this is my, my version of freestyle is slightly Shit. altering the lyrics of a TV show <laughs> theme. Anyway, from Western <laughs> Australia, <laughs> I would like to thank Chris Potts. Oh, Potsy. Potsy. I like that. Jesus. From, from James Carl Williams the Third. Yeah. Which I'm like, can we ever get close to that? But I reckon. Chris Potts, Potts is great. Potts is a sweet I think that's name. cute as. Dave, count of. 
Oil. <laughs> oh, Ooh, oils and oils. Very when Chris Potts is around. Very wealthy. Yeah, that's great. Good wealthy for you, member Potsy, of the but humble. That's oh, what, I like. what we're talking like? We're talking like black gold, Texas. Oh, we're tea. talking Texas, black gold. <laughs> oh, was it like olive oil? <laughs> oh, <yes>. Olive oil. <laughs> you mean like um, no, so, yeah, Popeye's yes. girlfriend? No, his his oil is the one that they are. Uh, you know, in. she's a person. <gasps> She's not just. <laughs> She's a cartoon character. Vice <laughs> girlfriend. She's got her own stuff going on. Okay. What show is she on? The Olive Oil Show? Yeah. Probably is. She probably had a spin off. Why yeah. not? The Olive Oil Hour of Power. Very good. Thank you, Potsy. Potsy. And I'd also like to thank from Great Britain. This is another good name. Robbie Lenny. Oh, a double E. Oh. Robbie Lenny. Robbie Lenny. Robbie Lenny. <laughs> It's got a certain mm, rhythm to it. <laughs> Robbie Lenny. Robbie Lenny. The Count of Vinegar. Where's he from? <laughs> <laughs> Count of Vinegar. He's from uh, the UK in uh, Cumbria. Oh, Cumbria. That's uh, that's an old place, right? <laughs> I in the Lake District. I guess I old mean, places are old, really. And it's they? all relative, isn't it? Australia's a very new country, so... Hmm. Anywhere else hmm. compared to us feels like they've got a lot of history. Hmm. You know? Like a building here that's 20 years old is heritage listed. Yeah. That's true. Though our first people, first yes. yeah, Indigenous people have the oldest culture, continuous culture in the world. So fucking suck on that. Yeah. Suck on that. Lenny. L- Robbie. Robbie Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> nah, good on you. I know you don't think it's a competition. And I, I've got to say we've had very little to do. Um, we can't really claim. Anything. I don't think we can claim a lot of. To that. be honest, I can only claim anything that's happened since 1990. Uh, but Robbie Lenny, really hope to see you all the way from Cumbria. Well, maybe one of our UK shows. That'd be cool. Uh, and to everyone that is coming out to those shows, they are all sold out now, except for the one show in Birmingham. Oh, really? Cool. So I might go along so I can still get a ticket. I'll see if I'm free. You can get a ticket to your. Stand-up show, possibly, Matt, in uh, London. Oh, yeah. I should probably have mentioned that more. Um, but I think that Maybe. is – I think that's sold it's out. It's going well. Yeah. You're close. If it isn't, it's close. Check it out if you want to, though. MattStewartComedy.com slash – is it gigs or shows? But it's gigs. Gigs. I reckon you say gigs. Yeah, I reckon you say gigs. Whenever you listen to it. Even if you listen to this in a year's time, maybe I'm coming back to your place. Hey, that could happen. Robbie Lenny. <laughs> I'm going to be, I swear to God, I'm going to be singing that in my sleep tonight. Robbie Lenny. That's going to be very annoying for your neighbours. Potsy. <laughs> Potsy. Hey, Potsy. Uh, I'm Pots in here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thanks to everyone that supports us on Patreon. It means a lot to us one more time. It's patreon.com slash do go on pod. If you would like us to have fun Butcher with your, your name. name. yeah. <laughs> have fun with his nicer, yeah. Yeah, had fun with it. Robbie that's Lenny. A, that's a weekly planet catchphrase. Yeah, I had fun with it. That's my Mesa impersonation. I had fun with it. That's when they didn't really like a movie. It's a real you've, it's a real subculture lingo thing. You've really got a it's an aeroplane flying overhead. Is that is the mic picking that up? <laughs> I doubt it. Je, Jess looked at like her ears like actually got up higher, like a dog. Like Arr? the dog she is. <laughs> aeroplane? <laughs> Raggy? <laughs> Um, we'll be oh on one my of those god, soon. I'm the Scooby Doo of this group. Yeah, I'm definitely the Shaggy. <laughs> oh no, I'm the Scrappy Doo. Oh, I was gonna say yeah. Daphne, but okay. <laughs> Daphne. Daphne's a the bird. Nerd. No, oh. she's smart. Oh, so, uh, or is it? No, I'm no. Wil- I'm Wilma. Wilma. I'm Wilma. You can be Scrappy. No, you you're want. definitely Scrappy. Yeah, now that you've put it out there, Scrappy, you're scrappy. sucks. He ruined the show. Yep, that's yep. about right. Sounds <laughs> it. Oh, piss off. I'm Wilma. <laughs> I need this. I solved the crimes. Oh, hang on. We haven't even considered me being Fred. Yeah, you're definitely not God, Fred. he's such a dream bird. <laughs> Which one's that Fred? Is that Frenny Prince Nunez? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Lost control Nunez. of that one. Frenny Prince I think I said Nunez. Frenny. Frenny Prince Nunez. Nunez. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm no. going to wrap this up. Please. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Well, Wait, it's we'll spinning out of control. If you want to get in contact anytime, all the links are on our website, dogoonpod.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. YouTube's happening. We got an email. It's dogoonpod at gmail.com. But you know, drop us a line anytime. Yeah. yeah. We're closing our laptops here. It's all like No, it's I was just closing Dave's to annoy him, and then Matt followed suit, which is cute. And Thank I you. don't have one. Anyway. But yeah, drop us a line. <laughs> Suggest a topic. We always love to hear those. And um, maybe you too will be the next contestant on YouTube. The band. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, we really have to go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Until next week, I'll say thanks and goodbye. Laters. Bye. I nearly forgot my catchphrase and I nearly said laters. What a world. <laughs> what a loser. I'm very influential. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you. Uh, Well, I'm going to cut it. Okay. And also these things I'm saying now. Cutting this? This thing right now. I'll cut these words. What about this one? (laughs) That's gone. Can you put this at the end of the episode? (laughs) Certainly not. I will not let our... Highbrow podcast <laughs> be reduced <laughs> to such pithle pothle. Pithle pothle. <laughs> it feels funny on my tongue. <laughs> uh.